You're confused how you were not being cooperative, but you were an hour late for the date. How do you not equate the two? How can you be this smooth brained? MIG, by the way, an hour you waited? I would have been gone after 10 minutes. Don't be his piece. That's it. Sparkle, sparkle. First date, she refused to get out of the car because he took her to the Cheesecake Factory. Uh, let me just get the door for you. Okay. What? What's wrong with the Cheesecake Factory? He got me at the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. I ain't getting out this phone. Mm -mm. And she's recording? Does she lock the door? Yes. Uh... Would you want me to open the door for you? She locked the door. Look at, look at. Are you? You're recording me? Yeah. Yeah. This is the Cheesecake Factory. This is the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. What's the problem with that? This is a chain restaurant. Who takes someone that looks like this to a chain restaurant? Oh, I'm hell no! I'm. I'm fine with talking about it, uh -huh. even in front of them. Oh okay. yeah, I want to talk about it. Yeah, come okay. on, get up on in the car. Yeah, we gonna talk about it. Oh no. <laughs> Someone who looks like this, ma'am. Let's keep it a stack with your sprinkle, sprinkle ass. You are extremely average, at best. How did we get here, where women can really believe all of them? are God's gift to earth. You can have your expectations, but attempting to humble him into his offer to bring you to not even a cheap restaurant, Cheesecake Factory is kind of expensive, but to interject how you look like to shame or to humble this man into taking you somewhere else is rude and disrespectful. But notice guys, how the guy seems to be holding frame throughout this interaction. Don't let him get you out your frame, because then they win. Oh, okay. Oh, she's nasty. Okay. So, so, yes, let's talk about it. Let's talk you, about it. So you expect a man to go all out on the first date. Is that right? I mean, you're supposed to. Look at, I mean, when you take out a beautiful woman <laughs> and you're courting her, because I, I get courted. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So you're courting her, right? You're supposed to take care of her. You're and supposed to cover her. You're supposed to protect her, cherish her, treat her well, right? Yeah. That's and, what you're supposed I, to do. What does any of that have to do with taking you to Cheesecake Factory? He's doing all of that. He picked you up in his car. By the way, in his car, I'm looking at a double sunroof. So you think you could take advantage of him because he makes good money, can afford a good car, and you expected something other than Cheesecake Factory on your first date? Let's just keep watching more. Maybe I'm missing something. I mean, you're wearing deep purple lipstick with a green dress with your mammary glands hanging out. You don't even deserve Cheesecake Factory. You look like you deserve Chuck E. Cheese. But maybe I'm just prejudging. Let's keep on watching. Maybe I'm missing information here. I agree. No, no. I, I went into factory. this date as I expect, uh, with the expectations for myself, to okay. keep you safe, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. To respect you. Sure. Uh, to pay for your food, of course, pick you up of course, mm -hmm. and just treat you like a gentleman, which I believe I have done. I mean, you, yeah, and, you've been pretty and then, nice, but I mean, and then, cheesecake factory. I, sprinkle, on the other hand, have certain expectations for a girl I go out with. Go ahead, uh, talk to her. I talk to her to be respectful too. Uh-huh. I expect her to be cooperative. Damn right. And, and at least, you know. Uh, what did I do that wasn't cooperative? Well, I mean, like, even, like, uh, when we were walking to the car, uh, you wouldn't uh, put your hand around my arm or anything like that? Or oh, he's hand. a foodie call. I mean, it's too early for that. Okay. I yeah. don't know and you I yet. can respect that. I can respect that. Okay. When uh, I got to your apartment to pick you up, uh, you didn't want to invite me in. I can respect that, too. Just, we're not Again, maybe I don't we're not know there. yet. Okay. I know you. And then... But, I mean, I feel like I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do as a woman. Oh, God. Like, how is it too early to not hold hands with him, but it's not too early to expect a $100 plus date? How? 
How is this a thing? But I, I mean, got myself all made up. Nothing wrong with the Cheesecake Factory. Yeah. Right? Yes, there's a lot wrong with the Cheesecake Factory. Look at, well, look at, I mean. Look at my plan, where we were going to go originally. See, now that's, that's where, that's where we should have went. All right, right there. Call See, him. Call him. No. What do you mean, no? Good. See, I, I specifically I told you both yesterday and this morning. Go ahead, I brother. I come to pick you up at 4 a.m. At 4 p.m. Okay. Right? Mm. And I got to your place at 4 p.m. You didn't even come downstairs for another hour. And so I was waiting downstairs I understand. for an hour. Right? But I wasn't expecting for work to take me an so hour. long. I got home a little late. And like I said, I don't know you well enough to invite you up into my apartment. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> this, holy moly. Ma'am, you're confused how you were not being cooperative, but you were an hour late for the date. How do you not equate the two? How can you be this smooth brained? MIG, by the way, an hour you waited? I would have been gone after 10 minutes. And that is not possible. And that's why I'm saying, I'm thinking, okay, if we're not there in the relationship to, you know, meet uh, Look at her. apartment, then maybe we're not ready in a relationship for such a huh? nice fancy rela uh, restaurant as Aria. Big true. Especially if I'm paying for the whole thing. Big true. Which I'm still willing to do. I, mean, I would have been, okay. but. Would have. If we're late, I mean, I yeah, told we you twice. Late. Lost the reservation. It late. We literally Come left on. your place at the time the reservation was good, supposed to be. Oh, oh, and I specifically oh, said four oh, because maybe we could get there early and even get, have some time to get to know each other on the way there and while we're in the parking lot. I mean, we, waiting for a reservation. She repulses we can still get me. to know each other. Isn't there another restaurant you can call that, like, you know, the no. equivalent to that? I mean, I, I you, literally you don't said, understand. Oh, God. Look at me. I cannot go in the Cheesecake Factory. There's nothing wrong I, with I will that. die. That's okay. embarrassing. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. I, as I said, I have very specific <laughs> certain expectations oh, for that. No. I can tell it's not gonna be there. I and maybe we're not right for each other. Go ahead, brother. So respectfully, I'm oh, gonna just drop you off at home. Oh no, he didn't. Yeah, I'm up. So you just want to call it a night? Yes. I mean, yeah. isn't there some kind of compromise or something? Hell no. Uh, Ladies, can you believe this? I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, uh, if any of the 30.1 women on my channel side with her, just unsubscribe right now. You've learned nothing. There is no growing from where you are at right now. There's none. You're a lost cause. Unsubscribe from my channel. Call your local ASPCA and buy all of the cats. You're going to be a cat shepherd if you side with this young woman right here. You got to be out of your damn mind out of your damn mind what the parking space i i if i don't feel respected i am um, not gonna go through I mean, with the rest come of the on. day well i mean you are serious you really need yeah. To... yeah yeah i mean you didn't want this place anyway right i mean I mean, I understand that I was late. I understand that. Oh. I understand that I could have been a bit more cooperative. You had, you made some good points. That's why I'm willing to compromise. Are you sure you want to go home? Ah, with the sprinkle, sprinkle don't work out for you, baby. Now notice this, guys. Man sets boundaries. Man earns respect. Notice how now she's getting more into her feminine now. Notice how her voice gets a little bit more soft and a little bit more sweet. Trying to understand because this wasn't a part of her damn program. This wasn't a part of what she expected. But he stood up for himself. I'd argue he's a part of the MT Army. Let's keep going. Uh... I don't have a lot of rules. I don't have a, a lot of expectations for a first date, but I've already set them. Yeah, go and home. You've broken everyone. Oh so my God. Go buy I'm your sorry. own dinner. Oh, we're dropping you off home. 
all right whatever well i mean i guess i i understand you gotta do what you gotta do you mad oh she about to she about to cry i, I understand where you're coming from <laughs> you mad listen to me my g you dodged an absolute bullet. She liked the car that you in, and she wanted to maximize you if you were a simp, but you weren't going for it. And for that, bravo. What you guys just witnessed is a man that understands himself, is a man that is balanced, is a man that's not afraid to set his boundaries and to set his expectations. I will say, waiting an hour for her does put you in the simpish territory, However, maybe he really liked the chick and maybe he was just giving her the benefit of the doubt. Who knows? But I do know that this woman right here is a damn problem. She's too full of herself. All that she has to offer is what she considers to be her beauty and her viscous innards. Besides that, women like this are nothing but bills. Their heads are so big, their egos are so big that they can't get out and ask themselves, what can they contribute to a man? Sprinkle, sprinkle. And this is exactly why so many men are becoming passport bros. Hello, YouTube. Hey, what up? I want to discuss a phenomenon that's going on that I just learned about okay. called Passport Bros. Let's talk about it. Well, I've watched many videos lately for both pro and con of what these men are doing. Okay. Um, they're allegedly getting passports and traveling to different countries to find mates, women to marry, um, who have values that they admire mind you they are doing that after getting on dates with women like the previous woman they're tired of it well I'm a mother of four sons and one of my sons married a woman from Spain okay. and I'm here to tell you she is the most precious person in the world mm. she's very well educated she's very elegant she's very feminine mm. she knows how to cooperate mm. with my son and not mm. be demanding and entitled and uh, ungrateful for the things that he does for her wow. so she adds the exact amount of value, value to the marriage that my son adds they oh. adore each other they do all sorts of things for each other. They don't feel entitled and they're grateful when mm. one of them does something for the other one and they reciprocate in kind. Mm. So when my son does something very special for his wife, she does something very special for him because they love each other. Mm. Well, women in America have grown so entitled and so demanding yep. that they think they can do anything they want to do and get away with it, treat a man any way they want to treat him, and even denigrate him when they weigh 300 pounds and he wants someone who looks feminine, who behaves feminine, who um, takes care of herself, and these fat sweat hogs, you know, denigrate him because... Granny! You popping off, and I like it. As he doesn't want her. Well, I'm going to encourage my other sons who are not married to uh -huh. get a passport. Yep. And to go to other countries. Mm. Because <clears throat> some of the arguments that I heard from women, mostly black women, have to do with... Or Shots fired. <laughs> well, they'll say, we don't want you anyway, just go. Well, if yeah. that was true, what would the argument be? I mean, why would they be so defensive about it? Right. And Facts. so offensive about it? They do want these men. Of course. They want a man who makes enough money that he can support them and they can live at home. But the problem is, American women don't want to work at home. Mm. They want to sit up and lay up with another man while their husband's at work they don't Fox. want to cook they don't want to clean they don't want to take care of children they just want to produce them so if they ever get divorced they get a big fat child support check haram what man wants that and what man deserves that i'm divorced no man i don't 
want to get into a relationship. But if I did, I know right now that I'm not worthy of a relationship. I haven't taken care of myself. I Accountability. Paid off all my debts. Mm. So right now, I absolutely know that I don't have anything at all except being reciprocal in love and affection. Mm. Uh, I don't have anything at all to bring to the table. Mm. Well, I don't desire a relationship, but I know many, many women do. And if I did, I would work my ass off to improve myself to the point that I would be giving him a gift. Oh. And the gift that I would give him, so this is for young ladies too, the gift that I would give a man. That Before she goes into the gift, which I think is very important for us to hear, notice what she said is that she knows, she's accountable, that she has nothing else to bring besides the reciprocation of love. Many women think that that's just enough. That's why they get so defensive around the internet question of what do you bring to the table because they don't want to think about something. Imagine trying to apply for a job position, but your ego is so big that you won't fill out a resume. What do you mean I have to demonstrate my transferable skills for this position? What do you mean? Ew, I refuse to do that. That's all men are asking. And I understand it's an internet question and it's generally not something you want to ask on a date because of how they get so defensive regarding it. But have you ever considered Besides what you look like and the reciprocation of maybe love and your viscous innards, what else value are you? What else? That I loved is I would be cooperative. Not just cooperative, but you know, you need to be able to see opposing viewpoints. You need to be able to step in his shoes and see what he's going through. Mm. So many women today discount what a man goes through it doesn't matter that he's the one who goes off to war. He's the one who sweats day and night to bring home the bacon. You're the one sitting up on your ass doing nothing. Now, I reared five children, so I know the amount of work that goes into that. Mm. And when I was still with my husband, <clears throat> he had three hot meals on the table. Mm. His clothes were washed and dried and ironed. His house was clean. I reared, a, I raised a garden. I reared animals. Mm. Um, I did everything I could to take the load off of him. Mm. Women today don't want to do any of that. Right. They say, well, if he's only working 40 hours a week, he needs to do this and that and this and that. You know, you demand every minute of his time and then begrudge him when he wants to go out and have a beer or he just wants to relax in front of the television you know he's just a worthless piece of crap because he's not buying you gucci bags or whatever it is you want material things yep and talk so many him. women today put up these videos where they talk about they want a man who makes three hundred thousand dollars a year sprinkle sprinkle <laughs> the same women couldn't make forty thousand dollars a year <laughs> <clears throat> But that's equal, right? Yeah. That's equal. I love her. But they don't want it to be equal. Because today's modern American woman says what's mine is mine, and what yours is yours is, mine. is also mine. Oh. And that's not just true. Shout out to Granny for eloquently putting these points that modern men today have been echoing so loudly from the mountaintops. And it's so important that an older generation of women can see and understand what it is that we are saying. The Western modern man of today feels so unappreciated that he's more than willing to go abroad than continue to deal with the low level, low barometer women has demonstrated in the first video. These women are not humbled, they are entitled they don't want to know and understand what it takes to make a man happy because they're lazy. They don't want to put in the work. The same amount of work that they put in to be strong and independent and go get these high level jobs where they're making all of this money should be the same level and effort that they go into understanding a man. But they refuse to. And through their quest of materialism, they turn down Cheesecake Factory. Questions, comments, concerns? Y'all already know what to do. Me, Yoga Tutorials and Reviews at gmail.com. Shit, I was at Cheesecake Factory.
a couple of months back. Absolutely delicious. Fantastic first date establishment. Many of you young modern women need to recalibrate your expectations of a man. Because many of you young modern women are average at best. Until next time, YouTube.